Oh my god, dude. All right, looks like we're finally ready to go into the match. Rudolph All will right. be playing Marth on this game one. And Hungrybox, of course, you know he's gonna be playing Jigglypuff. Hungrybox now, is this his first big tournament ranked number one in the world? Uh, yeah. I think so, right? The last time we saw him was at Smash Summit where he beat Armada. And the <laughs> rankings just came out. You know? Right, right, and we, we basically crowned him, you know, top, top, top player in the world. We said whoever wins the set is basically number one. That's yeah. kind of how this is gonna work out. And, uh, oh, I, oh, that's a good punish, actually. Although I guess I only did 17. A lot of potential damage there. A lot of potential. Yeah. Against Puff, you know, you don't always get the most damage, but you get the potential damage, which is a big deal. Maybe you can get the pivot forward smash after the grab. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rishi would have gotten it. Rishi would have gotten it. Zane probably would have gotten it. Yeah. Ark would have gotten it. Oh, yeah. What about uh, Ark? Um, he's been working, I think. Okay, yeah, that, that'll happen. Okay. All right, Rudolph thinking. Because whatever he's been doing, not, not working, he's been getting punished. Like heart. Yeah. Uh, this is uh yeah. This is this is the the danger of this matchup. Okay, if plays a uh, similar color with right. the headband. Yeah. Plays completely different. Just yeah. Treat him a little different too. Yeah. H box. Uh, he he gives you a lot a lot less room to breathe. I think than every other Jigglypuff. He really uh when, as soon as as soon as he like gets the advantage. I don't even know what he's he's like jabbing and grabbing in the middle of the stage. Well, that's because uh, Rudolph was just kind of let's stall and not doing right. anything. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh. oh, what? He's ready for it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like Rudolph could tech that, but you know, you're, you're probably not used to that sort of thing. Oh, what your box. Oh my what? god. What? The How hard read. grab there? It was he can temper this. He can temper this. Oh, oh it's for the smash. It was a really oh. hard read on the runoff aerial. Yeah. Yeah. Hungerbox has plenty of stocks to play around with that kind of thing. Right. Time to just go for it. Yeah, you have to imagine for someone like Rudolph, if you've never played Hungrybox, it's like playing an entirely different character. Yeah. Okay, Hungrybox finally losing his first dog. That's one of the things that uh, really separates Hungrybox from all the other uh, Puff players. A lot of them are really good at using Puff's you know, movement uh, defensively, but not as good as, you know, holding the, the space where Puff can potentially be aggressive. Right, right, right. And threatening with it. Yeah, Hungrybox will get in there, actually. You know, he, he kind of used to get a bad rap for being like a campy player or what have you, but uh, he definitely knows how to scrap when he needs to. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That was, yeah, very brutal game one. Yeah, jeez. Rudolph, um, uh, yeah, if I were him, I don't know. I, I would probably go Fox at this point. Uh, unless he feels like a stage, you know, a stage counter pick is enough to, to swing the momentum. This is one of those things where do you want more experience or do you want, you know, Try, right. try to win the set with your fox, where Hungerbox is pretty good against the best foxes in the world. And Rudolph's fox, well, you know, pretty good in its own right, and it's a you know, kind of pick character kind of thing. Yeah. <coughs> Rudolph's taking a uh, big moment to think about it, considering. Take a look at the stages. Right. So it's either switch to the fox, stay Marth, and try again. I, I find it really funny how animated he is, despite being, despite laying down. You know? Oh yeah, very expressive. I have to wonder if that's good for his back. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I he's, cause he's hyperextending, and I don't know if, well, we should get Kate, Kate McGee in the case. Yeah, we have people here who can tell us if that's okay. That's right. Yeah, oh. we do. All right. Well, uh, you know, one way or the other, Pokemon Stadium is. Uh, Definitely one of the stages we've seen Marth have a lot of success here. Last time I saw Marth beat Hungrybox at tournament was uh, when PPU beat Hungrybox. At, I think that was it. three years ago now, actually. Yeah. Apex 2015. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and that was um, that was that was a game three on Pokemon Stadium, right? So. Yeah. Rudolph has kind of he's looking for more moments to counterattack and throw out his own aerials when he thinks Hungrybox is going to go in. Right. To some ex uh, to some success, but. No, against Hungrybox, you got to have more than some success. Yeah. Hungrybox just, yeah, it looks like he's just very conscious of, like, the threat zones that, that Marth can can be at. Because it seems like every time Rudolph throws out, like, a forward smash or something, it just doesn't seem to be connecting. Oh, oh that was good, though. Runs well, past that, him, gets him with him. The, the bait. Yeah. He's been doing a good job of uh, stuttering uh, a little bit, staggering his movement just a little bit to uh, make Hungrybox swing or think he's going to be somewhere. And then going for the the move. Right. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Doesn't get rested, fortunately. Back throw's not too bad. 
like Rudolph is trying a bit too hard to get the run past F Smash now. Yeah, he's 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 been hitting a lot of forward smashes, but you know, not like very meaningful forward smashes. And I have to wonder if the risk reward is just not going to pan out as the set goes on. Oh, nice Good spacing. Hungrybox here trying to wall him out. Jabs him there. Might have been going for a grab. Got a, the, the C jab. <laughs> huh. They're like they're like doing the back airs and the ledge stalls with like the same timing. And there, the, yeah, there's the easy edge guard from Hungrybox as he notices Rudolph doesn't have a jump. He's gonna do it. Now we see uh, Hungrybox has started to counter Rudolph's counter timings. Right, right. He's That's gonna Rudolph be to the swing. And it also seems like Rudolph doesn't have the. Um, Oh, I thought maybe that could KO. He doesn't have the, the pivot tipper uh, oh, yeah. in his arsenal, right? That, that's that's really important. Go <gasps> uh, we'll talk to Ark, maybe. Ark would love to write him an essay. We don't yeah. want to watch translated. Yeah, or um, or uh, Kadano. <laughs> right, that was his uh, the perfect Marth class yeah. on oh. Smash Boards. What a beautiful thread. Yeah, beautiful thread. Thank you, Kadano. <laughs> He's done so much for Melee. Oh, that up air! Protecting himself from uh, the potential down B spike from from Rudolph. Hungerbox just ready for everything here. Hungerbox also kind of gotten a really strong feel for the way Rudolph plays his ledge game. You know, that's been the main place where Rudolph's been um, consistently outplayed. Yep. Whenever Rudolph's on the ledge, even though Marth doesn't have good options off the ledge, uh -huh. really, uh, he's getting beaten there pretty consistently. Yep. Up air, yeah, and he just lets him fall. Oh, oh my boy. god. Oh boy. This is gonna be an easy edge guard. Yeah, that's it. Jeez, very clean. Very, very clean. He had some cool uh, adjustments they made, changed a couple of things, changed a couple of timings, but yeah, Hunger he Rocks did. was ready. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Hbox already helping to, to <laughs> clean the chairs up. You have to imagine that uh, that Rudolph, though, you know, he's getting, he's he's finding these ways to get these little hits. Uh, he's finding ways to get the forward smashes, but. Uh, we didn't really 